Hi everybody, this is Colette Baron reed Welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance and Lesson. And um, we have six cards here. Now I already know what these cards say because I just picked them and I'm gonna be honest with you that I wanted to put them back. My husband reminded me that I never put the cards back. Um, but it is a week that we all need to be really conscious, really conscious of the energy that we're putting out and what we're engaging in this week. So now, ha, ah, it's ominous, right? But there's a lot of hope in this. There's, there's a lot of hope. So we're going to go from one to six. If you pick a card, um, pick the card that most appeals to you. Mark, which card are you picking? Number what? I'm going to go with three, call it. But, okay, three. I was going to go with four, so I don't remember what they said, but I do know that it's it's really a big week this week, okay? So you'd pick a number of, of the six cards, and that's going to be a special extra push for you this week to pay attention to. Okay. The first card is our anchor card, and this is the first time I've ever had this card ever as an anchor card, and it's called Goblins. The Goblin card represents the underbelly, the things that we hide from, the darker qualities of, of life that are unstable, that are cruel, that are uh, painful, that are violent, that are, um, that are just the shades where we have not been able to process um, abuse or negativity, okay? So, it's not a bad card, it's just that's what the spotlight on and the opportunity is to heal this. So when we come from our, we could really call it our wound, the festering wound. So if the wound is festering, that means that, and a festering wound means that it is either um, getting worse or it's inviting us to get it better, right? To give it medicine. So. This is a week where we all need medicine, a medicine that is to help us both um, spiritually, physically, mentally. Um, there's so many layers that have been going on, as we all know, and, uh, and it's very complex. So it is normal that we should be feeling in some way not great. So the talisman card tells us we do know what to do. Thank goodness that's the second card because the, that card tells us that in our past, if we look to history, um, we know that there are ways that we a, haven't done it or that we have so that we see that there have been footprints in the sand that we can trace that tells us what to do and what not to do. Talisman is a symbol of integrated knowledge and wisdom. So there is wisdom to be had that will help us, okay? Card number three is unexpected visitors. Now, it is, it is not a negative card unless you hate surprises, okay? I don't like surprises. <laughs> but so none of these cards are negative. It's just showing us where we're at right now. And there's, I tend to be very chirpy in these readings because I, I'm a very hopeful Pollyanna kind of person. But this is, this is a time for us to be doing the work. This isn't the time to be playing lip service to anything. This is the time for us, all of us, to really take action, the practical action that we need to do. It's like, here's the wound. Here's what we know how to heal. Here's the resources that we can work with. Now, there's unexpected resources that can come to us that can help us, right? That can help us. So unexpected visitors means that something new, like unexpected visitors could be a flash of insight or something that comes to you, um, like, like a, what do you call it? Like an invention for something, like something out of the blue goes, wow, here's something that, that can help. Here's something that can help. But we have a number of layers to this because some of what's calling us to help and to heal has been around for a very long time. So the commitment is for a long time. How do we do sustainable action that shows that we're committed for a long time? And then there's something else, which is like, oh, we need to get out of this. 
So two things are going on and mentally that's very difficult for us to handle at the same time. Which way do we go? What are we really talking about? Is this the thing we're talking about? Is that the thing we're talking about? And the truth is we have to talk about all of it. So instead of the puppy break, I would just like a moment of silence. Can we be hopeful and can we be that person that brings hope? So if you like these videos, this video, share it with your friends. Um, subscribe to my channel. You see a little ding and you can press on that and they get delivered into your inbox. You get this, uh, the six card reading every week and then an astro oracle that drops tomorrow. I wish you nothing but the best. I believe, I know we can, we can have a better world. It's just going to take some work. So the wizard of awareness, which is card number four, is reminding us that we must, we must at some layer, at some level, those of us who are, who are really actively trying to heal and help, right? We have to get into that state of observation and not take it all personally. So important to not take what's happening personally because you have been personally affected by it and you do feel a personal um, burden or that you must take on or like this, this, it's very personal, but we have to act that it's not personal because it enables us to have a layer of detachment so that we can actually get shit done. Because if we're constantly just saying, oh, I'm so upset, I'm so upset, I'm so upset, then you don't do anything. So, so we might have to pick, take the baton from somebody who's exhausted from carrying it for too long. And we say, I will help, ah, it's my turn. So those are the kind of things to think about this week. And, it, and you will decide what area of your life this is talking about, because this is a story that is a kind of a generalized energetic weather report for every one of us watching this video. And there is a sense of responsibility in this reading so far to be the change and do the healing. Okay. And that means for some of us to not talk and to do the work and for other people to be more vocal, to be more amplified. This can also be um, recognizing that circumstances have not been ideal, which is an understatement. Um, everything that's been going on, everybody's been stuck at home, etc. It's It's been an unhealthy mindset anyway. So it's sort of like this Petri dish for, for suffering, right? And just like how the metamorphosis process is, is that that caterpillar with those imaginal cells that's creating a death knows it's going to be a butterfly, but it's really painful. It's really claustrophobic. It's exhausting. It's ugly. It's messy. And yet the beauty and the hope on the other end of it is present, but only if we do the work, we know a butterfly is going to happen at a metamorphosis, but we have to be the ones to make this happen and, and period. And, and what are we going to do with the various sets of circumstances that we have in front of us? Stormfields is the next card. So that's card number five. Now Stormfields tells us to take shelter. And, and it does say that there is an energy this week that um, is, that can be very destructive, can be. Now we also see the, dis the necessary, like for example, if you look at us, what do you call it, Mark? My husband's behind the camera. Do you remember what it's called when farmers, they go into the forest and there is, is it like a, a special burn or what's the name of the burning? Do you know what it is? I'm not a farmer. So no, I know, but we've farmer. talked about it the other day. Oh, our brains are mush. Um, there's, a, there's a name for it and I don't know what it is. Um, so it's like when you purposely burn something so that it can help everything grow, right? So it's like a special burn that you do. And I know they do it around here because we live in the farm farm area. Um, but I don't know what it's called either. But it's kind of like that there, there needs to be a form of destruction, if you will, that is actually really good for the soil. It's really good for the environment and it's good. So, but there is two ways because goblins are there too. If it wasn't the first card, I would say that, um, you know, this could, this could be a really good time to express that, but it's also warning us that that we could be coming from a place of, of a lack of clarity. So we have to be really careful about, we have to think before we speak, think before we act. 
we have to basically, that's what the observer card, the wizard of awareness is, is like, shut up. You know, like come back. Now that's not for everybody because there are going to be people whose voices need to be amplified. And that's not what this is for. This is, this is also to understand and discern which one you are. Like, are you that person or are you this person? And only you know that. So Stormfields does say, can you take shelter? And if so, do so and don't step on the dragon's tail. So the dragon's lair is the last card, which means this is not over. And we know that things have changed inexorably. We're in eclipse season. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on with Pluto, Saturn, all kinds of astrological influences that are basically telling us that although there are so much beauty and opportunity in this, the darker qualities must come first. There is a form of destruction that is, that is actually good. It doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel that way. Um, but it's asking us to reclaim and liberate the things we know are right, 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 right. There's a, there's, we know what rightness is. And the dragon's lair says, you must avoid the, the, the traps. And these traps are not necessarily set by the outer world. They are set by our goblins, right? So if we, um, who was it? Carl Jung said, if we do not bring our wounds to the surface, they will seemingly come to visit us by fate. So we have to bring it into our consciousness. Now, we're all getting a crash course in all of this. You know, there's no question globally around the world. And I want to, I know that people watch this video from all over the world. We have people from 36 countries last time we checked. So we know this is not a specific local conversation that we're having. It's really a global conversation. So the dragon's lair is a warning card of, of asking you to be really mindful, mindful of how you, you know, how you respond uh, to the world's experience. Um, and, and what is expected, what's expected of you, what's accepted of me. And, and the only way that we can do that without causing more trouble for ourselves and others is to slow down <laughs> to the best of our ability and stay in 24 hours. And I talk about that a lot on my morning woos on the 1111 calls on my Facebook and then later on on my Instagram. So when we talk about the cards every day. So this is also a requirement. Don't future pace because if you look into the future, you may just assume that nothing's going to change and you'll feel bad and depressed. See, that's what that ding. You heard that ding? That, that, that reminds me of this. Or, or you might be you're not going to be just put your head down and do the work for today is basically the bottom line. It's like, just do your work today. And every, every person individually, <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> every person individually has that opportunity. So here's the hopeful part in this. We can heal this. You and me and everybody who knows that they share in the responsibility and really the, I think the obligation to one another um, to make a better world. And what does that look like? You know, that's, you'll decide what that looks like for you. Um, and, uh, but I will just say this, that goblins, talisman, unexpected visitors, wizard of awareness, storm fields, and dragon's lair tell me that this is a week to do my work and do my work and do my work and keep doing that and then do it some more. And keep your ears open to listen, 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 listen. And if you are not the voice to be amplified, quiet. All right. Mwah. Love you guys. I can hardly wait till next week. I really do hope that they all have a very contemplative week. That's for sure. Contemplative. Contemplative. Um, lots to think about this week. Lots to think about. And uh, I love you.